nothing is wrong with being single. So you continue to delay your own personal blessing because you're not accepting the season that you're currently meant to be in right now. The more that you continue to try to control and force it, the more that you'll put yourself in failed situations. You have to acknowledge that there's a void within yourself that you need to fill with God and with self-love. What's up everybody, it's your girl Charlene Nicole and welcome to Charlene Nicole Speaks. If you're new, welcome. And if you're coming back from a past video, why haven't you subscribed yet? Go ahead and push that subscribe button. You're either single by choice or single by circumstances. The main focus of this video is to get you back on track. But what I'm not going to do is give you the watered down version on why you feel stuck. You already know those reasons. What I'm about to share with you, how to understand them so that can help you move forward. The first one, you were already programmed as a child to glorify relationships. As a child, you got the Barbie, then you got the Ken. All of a sudden, Barbie and Ken gets married. Barbie and Ken helps, buys their dream house. Barbie and Ken has a baby. God is already programmed in your mind to glorify relationship. You want a relationship, you want your Ken. You want to buy a house. You want to have kids. Here comes the next factor. Society. The Sierra and Russells. The Beyonce and Jay-Z's. Society paints this picture that relationship status equates happiness. So if you're alone, you're not happy. You're looked upon as miserable, lonely, and desperate. The fugaziness of it all. To the next trigger. There's a double standard stigma. You ever notice when a man is single, he's looked upon as the bachelor. He hasn't chosen to settle down. If a woman is single, what's wrong with her? Because she seems like she has everything together, but why hasn't anyone chosen her? Because I'm a woman and I'm single, it's because I haven't been chosen. No wonder so many of us women are messed up mentally when it comes to single, accepting singleism. Wait. No wonder a lot of us are messed up in the game right now because we can't accept being single because of this mindset. It's this whole perception that men are the choosers and women are the chosen. Men are not the choosers. Women actually are. Now, some may argue, well, no, because a lot of women just wait for men to make the first step. Understand this and understand this, ladies. A man may, might put the offer on the table, but it's for that woman to accept the offer in order for it to move forward. Woman's choice to accept the offer. Boom. If you're finding value in what I am saying, press the like button. Let's start this discussion right now. Drop your thoughts down in the comments how you feel about that. It's even in the Bible. First Corinthians, it says to the unmarried and the widows, I say that it is good for them to remain single as I am. Well, look at that. Just bask in the beauty of single. Oh, trust and believe we can go deeper. Need that for another video though. Again, there is nothing wrong with being single. When you're single, it allows you time. The time that you need to either get yourself together, understand what healing needs to take place. Because some people say, oh, well, I've healed. What healing needs to take place? Some of us struggle with understanding the difference between healing to feel better and healing to do better. Some of us have been in traumatic relationships that took a lot out of us and broke us down. Some of us struggle with the understanding of realizing that you have now become a reflection of who hurt you versus a reflection of the lesson received from that hurt. Drops the mic. You have to focus on doing better for yourself. Not doing better to get into another relationship. Your focus should always be you. In order to accept 
You have to understand the process in the current season that you are in at this moment to relearn what makes you you. What are the beautiful things about yourself? Meaning new hobbies, meetups, putting yourself out there to fall in love with having fun again. Do you even remember the last time you truly had fun on your own? And you were in a relationship for however long you were with that person. Do you even remember what you really like? Or was it something that they liked that you started to like as well? Now how to cope? Mental health. Mental health is one of the most important focuses to coping, whether that's through meditation or whether that's through prayer. A negative mindset promotes a full-blown spiritual warfare. If your spirit is unbalanced, it manifests in the form of depression. You've ever wondered why you feel all of a sudden if something doesn't work out and you're in your head over analyzing things, you start to, you lose your appetite, you lack motivation, the things that you once enjoyed and loved, you no longer do. You no longer take care of yourself. You can't get out of bed. What you're doing right now is pushing a negative narrative. And when you push a negative narrative over and over and over, and you keep replaying it in your mind over and over and over, you literally find yourself stuck, not being able to move forward. You struggle with thinking about anything else because you continue to play it over and over again. You control your mind. Your subconscious mind is 95% of your brain, meaning your subconscious mind handles all the functions of your body, whether that's breathing, whether that's eating, creating memories, it controls all that. Whatever you feed your mind is what you become. So your mind is either gonna enslave you or empower you. Starting right now, make the decision. Press the like button if you're feeling what I'm saying. So many of us become a slave to our own thoughts because we come negative about ourselves or thinking that we're failures because something never happened or never came into fruition. Instead of changing our perspective and creating another narrative, a new narrative. Second, exercise. Exercise will become your best Friend, get, just get your body moving. The reason why you are sitting and dwelling on the past or dwelling on the negative is because you're so fixated. You're not moving, you're not being distracted. That's all you can think about. When you sit still, your mind starts to create these different narratives that may not even be true at all. And exercise is great because it relieves you of stress, anxiety, negative thoughts, but what you don't even realize is you start to see results in your physique. You start changes in your physical appearance, which also improves self-esteem. Your self-esteem starts to skyrocket. When you're positive and your energy and your aura just reflects positivity, you're looking great, you're looking good, that attracts people to you. That attracts people and things to you. My third and final, Learn your self. Do your shadow work. It's the dark side of your personality. Basically, it consists of negative emotions that you may possess or feel right now in this moment. Is To sum it up, your shadow is anything incompatible with our chosen conscious attitude about ourselves. You don't have time to focus on anyone else but yourself because when you're trying to figure out your purpose or if you know your purpose already, that's the focal point in your life. What are you passionate about? If you don't have an answer to that, that's okay. That actually is fine. But that means this allows you time to figure out what you're passionate about. What do you enjoy doing? Maybe you're not happy at your current job. Maybe you're miserable at your current job and you want to change. Take this time to figure out what you would rather do versus what you're currently doing. Learn yourself and learn to love yourself. Take this time out. If you're so used to taking care of somebody else and worrying about how everybody else is doing and doing for other people and showing people that you love them or you care about them, take this time to love yourself. 
Take that energy from where you used to give it out and you used to distribute it and bring it back to you. Stop focusing so much on the fact that you don't currently have the ideal relationship that you want. Stop focusing on the fact that you don't have the person that you, you want or that you thought you wanted. Right now is the time to focus on you. Self-care is important. So, I mean, take yourself out to eat. Take yourself out to your favorite spot. Go get your nails done. Go get your hair done. Go shopping and do you. There's nothing wrong with focusing on you. For example is Miss Carrie Hill quote, it's very valid to the topic at hand for us in this video. So Carrie says, I'm single by choice. I believe in reflecting, growing, and healing in between relationships. I don't Tarzan swing from vine to vine out of fear, loneliness, ego, or validation because I truly enjoy my life by myself too. I'm not waiting for or looking. The right one will find me when it's time. I'm just focused on being the best human I can be. I, I, I just feel like that is the whole theme of this video. Accept the season that you are in. You will find love. Love is gonna come for you when it's time to come for you. Right to focus on your well-being, your wholeness. Stop seeking validation from others. A relationship does not define you. If you feel everything that was discussed in this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on this whole topic. Everything that I said, is there anything that I might have missed? If there's anything that I may have missed, just drop it down in the comments so we can get the discussion started. I would love to start a conversation with each and every single one of y'all. Well, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in. Again, like I said, if you were finding value in this video, press the like button. I will be catching you guys in the next video. Be blessed.